Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in Baltimore, Maryland at the Inner Harbor with Mark Pittman, fellow JMYS broker. We are aboard the Celine 55 Finish Grade. Mark, tell me a little bit about the model year and some details on the boat. Sure. Finish Grade is a 2009 Celine 55 wide body. She's got a Cummins 405 horse main engine, NIAID stabilizers, Westmar PTO get home systems. A lot of really great features on this boat that allow for some long cruising. Yeah, two stateroom layout. Mark mentioned the stabilizers, the get home system. There's bow and stern thrusters, the flybridge model, wide body, as he said. There's just so many great features on this boat. We're going to take you through a tour. All the specifications, pricing, all those details are on jmys.com. And we'll give you some contact information at the end of the video. But let's go take a look around. Let's go. Ground tackle is very important on any boat. The Slim 55 is greatly set up. There are two Lumar anchors. You can deploy either one. Coming back to the Maxwell windlass is horizontal with a Samson post. Great ground tackle setup here. There's shore power connections forward on the port side. There's also two opening hatches here that give you access to the chain locker. On the starboard side here, a seawater washdown, a freshwater washdown. The hose pipes are recessed, so you're not going to kick your legs on them. Manship stainless steel hatch above the VIP stateroom as we come back aft. Good bench seating right here. Very comfortable. And the Portuguese bridge is very wide. This is a lot wider than a lot of other comparable boats. Storage lockers up in here. You have the reverse rake windows. As we work our way back aft, this is a wide body. The deck on the other side does go back to a dead end. It dead ends at the pilot house. But along this side, we go all the way back to the cockpit. Uh, as we're going past the pilot house, there is a large boarding door, or upper raised boarding door here. So if you're at a tall dock, very easy to come in and out of there. Access into the pilot house from here. And as I come down two steps, I'm now protected in the overhang right here. I'm protected from rain and from sun. Teak cap rail. There are three windows on the salon. They're all opening, so you have natural air ventilation coming through there. Recessed hose pipe there. This is a deck fill right here for fuel for your diesel. As you come back aft, there are three boarding doors in the cockpit area. I'll come all the way over to this side, show you. Opening door right here to give you access from the dock since you don't have that wide body. It's a smart, smart add-on here. Back after the swim platform, staples, folding cleats, big rail here, rod holders. Easy to get around on here, coming by dinghy. Again, the swim ladder is right in there. Come back up. There's storage behind the stairs. The lazarette access is right through this hatch. And here is the primary boarding door you'll use on the starboard side. There's also a shore power connection back aft right here. And the Glen Dinning comes in underneath. Good height in here. Again, up the stairs to the boat deck and flybridge or in through the salon to go into the inside. Let's go up and look at what's up top. the stairs from the cockpit you arrive at the boat deck level one of the great features of the Celine 55 is the boat deck and flybridge are primarily on one level there's a small little raised area for the flybridge have the little keyhole entry right here for the stairway up ab12 dlx inflatable yamaha 40 horsepower outboard there's a life wrap back here the steelhead crane is a 1250r that'll launch the dinghy get you into the water we did a lot of our underway footage from that as i come forward Controls up here. This is a propane locker, propane storage for the galley. And then coming up forward, some more storage lockers. Area right here for the barbecue. Safety rails. Here's the little step up that you take to get up to the flybridge. The hard top is a fantastic feature on this Lean 55. There's bench seating back around for relaxing. There's storage underneath there, a little fiberglass table here. Two of the Celine helm chairs, very comfortable for being underway. There's a little recessed area right here to put charts in, a little chart holder area. You have all your electronics right in here, easy to see. Good chart plotter right here, a depth sounder, VHF radio, Cummins controls, Ritchie compass, autopilot, bow and stern thruster, engine controls, searchlight, rudder angle indicator. Really have great control of the boat from here. Wonderful visibility because we're back behind the pilot house a little bit, not on top of it. I'm just looking at the entire view here. I have great outside living space here. 
you launch that dinghy and you really open up that deck there. And then the other access up here or to entry is to go down this slider to get down to the pilot house. So pilot house access, back stair access, hard top, couple chairs, good electronics, nice destroyer helm. Again, one small step down. Really love this outdoor area here on the Sling 55. The Sling 55 is known for having an especially large lazarette. A lot of great storage opportunities down here, including a really neat battery organization shelf here. On this part, we have 10 Group 4D batteries for the house bank alone. Over here, we've got ample storage for other auxiliary items, rudder post here, Glendenning storage, 40 gallon hour Express XT water maker for all your off grid needs, a freezer built into the boat, the Magnum Energy charger. Really nice teak in here. I've not seen many lazarettes that have teak as good as this in the lazarette of the Selene 55. A really excellent space for storing really anything you need. Entering the engine room from the owner stateroom. Beautifully sitting here is a Cummins QSL9 405 horsepower main engine, fiberglass fuel tanks, port and starboard, a UV light water filtration system. NIAID stabilizers, water pump. We have 70,000 BTUs of air conditioning to keep the climate control down through three separate units. Moving aft, reverso oil change pump, crane controls, Westmar PTO, twin disc transmission, main engine batteries, group 4Ds, Oh, moving over here, various water strainers for both any kind of raw water systems, including the stabilizers, air conditions, and the such. Torrid 30 gallon water heater. Moving forward here, we have a ESI total fuel management system with transferring capabilities and polishing capabilities. Beautiful teat stairs going up to the galley here. Air conditioned units. Another stabilizer here for the port side. A lot of really great features down here in the engine room of finish rate. Right? Coming in from the cockpit, you enter into the salon. This is a Dutch door. Celine does a great job. They put a veneer on a lot of their doors here in the, the salon, also in the pilot house. Gives it a dressier feel to it. Great headroom in here. I like the teak varnish paneling they put in here to kind of dress it all out. The entry has a landing right here with a bank of drawers, lamp on here, two recliners on the starboard side, an end table here. For dining, you have a large L-shaped settee with a beautiful fabric cover umbrella. This is inlaid teak, beautiful, well done. Opens up to seat six, maybe even eight. Carpeted floor, storage locker, flat screen television for entertainment. So if you're sitting around having dinner or talking, whatever, you can enjoy the, the television. The cabinetry on the starboard side, storage lockers, four refrigeration units to sub-zero. The top two are refrigerator. This aft one is refrigerator. Forward lower is a freezer. Good counter surface here. The blinds go up. Again, you have great light and ventilation. As you come into the galley, we have the carpet over the teak and spruce. In here, there's no cluttering. It's just a very open space on the counters. Good overhead lockers above and more drawers. There's two Fisher Pikel dishwashers for doing your dishes. A large sink, single basin sink with a cutting block. More storage lockers, storage lockers. Four burner propane cooktop. GE Advantium oven down below. And then one thing that I like Celine does is in the galley, they will have these lockers that have slide out drawers. So you can store a lot of gear in there, get in and out very easily. Preparing the meals, be part of the conversation, enjoying everybody. And then from here, very easy to head up to the pilot house. So let's go take a look up there. Command Center 
center, you come up from the galley salon level. From this area, you have access up to the flybridge on the stairway behind me or down to the staterooms below, and you can go out either side door, Dutch door, to get outside. Over on the stairway here, there's a chart table that slides out, give you a little extra room right here. Stid helm chair, electronics, VHF, your Cummins smart craft, large chart plotter radar screen, various controls here, wipers, spotlight, compass, the analog gauges for your engine controls, an overhead hatch, let air and light come in, big destroyer helm, again, bow thruster, stern thruster, engine shift. This is the auxiliary propulsion, the Westmar auxiliary propulsion system, another Faruner over there, electronic panel. They do a great job of numbering all the breakers on the Selene electrical panel. You also have your Northern Lights generator, the Magnum inverter, inverter bypass, water maker switch, windlass control, all easy access stuff. Selene does a great job with handrails in various places for getting around the boat. And then behind you have this bench seating area here. So very comfortable seating area for backseat drivers. You can enjoy the ride. There's plenty of room on the Selene 55. If you go between the helm chair and the table, you have that room there. Again, the stairway up to the flybridge, good extra space here. The windows are opening. It's an opening window on port and starboard side, let some air and light through. The forward windows are all fixed. There are some chart drawers here, storage lockers, bookshelves. There's really a fantastic pilot house for operating the boat. Again, from here, you have the choice of going down to the staterooms, outside to the Portuguese bridge or up to the flybridge. Down a couple steps from the pilot house, passing the clothes uh, laundry dryer, also the clothes washer. From this landing, this hallway right here, I can go aft to the owner cabin or forward to the guest cabin and the VIP head. So let's go ahead and go forward. Show you the head here. The head has a stand up shower stall with a teak grate, seat right here, sink, mirror, overhead lockers, Tecma toilet, and then into the guest stateroom. And this is a two stateroom boat, so this is the VIP large bed here. Big storage areas outboard on both sides, storage areas forward, overhead hatch, opening port lights outboard, hanging lockers on either side. There's just a lot of storage in here. Underneath the bed is storage and a flat screen television right here. And then back down the hallway, coming this way into the owner stateroom. Owner stateroom has a desk on the starboard side with a chair. The Shoji blinds will conceal the port lights that are out there. Nice touch. Thank you, Howard Chen. Storage lockers, drawers. This office area is pr very practical. There's access to the engine room here, and there's an owner door that closes off here. So if you want to seal that off at night, the whole room looks very clean, very elegant, very pretty in here. Another classic handrail from Celine. The bed has the balance over the top. And then coming in to this side, more storage lockers. Again, the Shoji screens with the port lights back behind, and then into the owner head. Shower, stand-up shower, more teak grates, teak seat, good appliances, good countertop here with single basin sink, mirrors, tall door, just really easy to get around in here, very elegant, very practical, and that gives us a, a pretty good preview of the owner stateroom and the VIP stateroom. I think that the Celine 55 really does a great job for a two-person boat, having your own stateroom, having your guests have a stateroom, all this right down from the pilot house, easy to do the laundry. This is where you have your drawers for your clothes. It's very practical, very common sense, very well done. You will enjoy the living areas, the accommodations, the staterooms, and the heads on the Sleep 55. Thank you for joining us today aboard Finish Grade. Finish Grade is something that is smooth, and this is a smooth, running boat. We hope you've enjoyed getting a bit of a feel for this boat. All of the specifications, details, prices, 360 photos, all the information's on jmis.com. Mark, any 
parting shots, any final thoughts on the boat? You know, just what a great day cruising aboard this boat in the historic waters of Baltimore, Maryland. We got Fort McHenry here behind us, behind us here. Just a beautiful day, great boat, really suited for long range cruising. This boat is, again, as we said earlier, been up and down the East Coast and into the Bahamas. She's really set up for long range cruising and at an excellent value. Yeah, a, a really perfect, ideal couples cruising boat it's easy for an owner operator to handle. It's very easy to maintain, operate. The engine room's easy to get in. And great job, by the way, doing the machinery space with the engine room and the lazarette. Good having your contribution there. So we'd love to get you on board. What's the best way for people to get in touch, Mark? Well, you can hit me by my cell phone or email address. And also John Hoffman's part of this listing as well. So we'll put his information in as well. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, thanks for your time. We look forward to getting in touch with Mark or John and we'll get you aboard Finish Grade and you can see for yourself. Appreciate all your time watching the videos and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Hey, trawler friends, thank you for watching the video. We love doing these videos. It's great having you on board. Great being out on the water. We do have over 100 videos on the JMYS YouTube channel. If you would like to subscribe, you can click the button. If you'd like a reminder on when the next video is gonna show up, you can click the bell, that'll give you a reminder. We really appreciate it when you give us those thumbs up. Thank you very much for that. We also like your comments. We like to respond to your comments. So please keep watching. Thank you for your encouragement. If you'd like to watch some other videos, we have a couple of them over here to click on. And there's always something new coming on the GMYS YouTube channel. Stay tuned and we'll stay in touch. Look forward to watching you and you watching me. Thank you.